So, as much as I hate to say this, because I don't want Civil War, and I'm not an edge lord, you know, YouTube edge lord that just says shit like, you know, um, Civil War, yeah, I'm gonna shoot some people up. I mean, yeah, there's times where people can trigger me enough to where I'll tell them, you know, like, I want to beat the shit out of them, but I don't, I don't say that shit on YouTube, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not one of these race-baiting clowns. But, um, anyways, yeah, so, we could be in some trouble. Uh, America's not getting better. We are not getting along at all as, you know, Democrats and Republicans, liberals, and, you know, people of different skin colors, religions... America is slowly being divided, and civil war could very well ensue. In fact, uh, a lot of people say that we are in civil war right now, and it is kind of true. But if things get worse, I can tell you guys this, Canada is in a lot of trouble. Because I was thinking about these yesterday, and, um, you know, there's a lot of states out there. Plus, I mean, there's a lot of cowards in America, and I can say that because I am American, but there's a lot of states that are anti-gun. And people like this, if they got caught up in a civil war, they would be running their asses to Canada. And uh, Canada is, is so hilarious because this is what's going to happen. Canada is going to get a taste of what America has gotten with all the illegal Mexicans. They're going to get swarms and swarms of fucking Americans. And probably tons of Mexicans because America has become full of Mexicans. So now they're going <laughs> to get a taste of their own medicine. And I don't feel sorry for Canada at all because most Canadians are a bunch of fucking American haters. Uh, I had someone tell me in the comments that I think he said it was the French, uh, British Columbian French who are the biggest assholes. Uh, I could definitely agree with that because French people are assholes. But no, but seriously, no, I mean, I, I love all people, but yeah, I mean, a lot of French people hate Americans too. So that makes sense. And, you know, so I don't feel sorry for Canada. Um, Wrestling Jesus is from Canada, <laughs> so he's going to have a lot of Mexicans coming around him and his place. But, um, no, seriously, though, that's what's going to happen, though, is Americans, they're going to populate Canada. And I think, personally, this is just an estimate, but I really believe that Canada could one day become part of America. And if that happened, we would be so fucking huge and powerful. We would probably be about as powerful as Russia. Uh, I mean, really, our military is actually bigger than Russia right now. But in terms of just, like, economy, things like that, we would be so fucking powerful. Nobody would ever mess with us, man. Um, so, really, I think liberals are helping us out. If a civil war does happen, which I don't want, by the way, but if it does happen, they're going to create another America. <laughs> and they're going to create more people that they don't even like. So, guys, that's just a theory of mine. Tell me what you guys think. You know, do you think Civil War is about to happen? Uh, do you think, you know, we got to bust out, you know, the shoddy guns and the, the pitchforks, you know, and have ourselves a revolution? Um, no, but, uh, you know, like I said, um, I'm just praying for peace because, I mean, I can tell you guys this. I'm not worried. With the side I'm on, I'm not worried at all. Um, but, you know, I would feel pretty bad, though, if a lot of liberals had to die, because that's what would happen, and, you know, death is a sad thing. I know some people would disagree that, you know, dead liberals is a sad thing, but a dead liberal would still be a sad thing to me. You know, there's still a human life, and I am a Christian, and we are taught to value human life. Um, you know, there's some liberals out there, too, that really aren't that bad like they're not all crazy sjw you know white man haters they're not all like that but unfortunately a good fraction of them are now and you know um it would just be a big mess you know war is is not a pretty thing so guys you know before you go to bed tonight pray for peace um just pray pray for America, you know, if, if you can do that, I'd really appreciate it because uh, things aren't really looking that great right now. I, I was hoping civil war wouldn't happen, but as of right now, I think the liberals are getting really desperate because they see that Trump isn't going anywhere. Um, but, you know, if I had to guess, what's probably going to happen is there's probably just going to be one or two more, you know, incidents 
uh, you know, maybe like a truck mowing over some people or another school shooting. Because this is their desperate way of trying to take down the conservative party. But it's not going to work in their favor. Um, so, you know, there may be a few more tragedies, but I would say that's going to be the worst of it. Um, Civil War is unlikely, but it, it could still happen. I just, I'm not entirely sure. I just, I think that these liberals, a lot of them, I mean, as, as much as, as sad as this is, I think a lot of them just, they're just like, they don't even want to live. They're just sort of like suicide bombers, you know? <laughs> they're just so prepared and ready to die, you know, thinking that it may help their cause, but it won't. They're just going to die in vain, and that's no way to go. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you, so thanks for watching. Um, look out, Wrestling Jesus. You might have some <laughs> Mexicans come to your door. <laughs> anyways, peace.